you start this blog at the coffee bean I lived down the street. And I always heard, oh, Perez Hill. On just, Hayworth. On Hayworth. <laughs> and every day, like somebody in, I lived in a complex, the oh, whole Perez is down there just doing his blog. And it was so interesting. I didn't this, have Wi-Fi at my apartment. I know you So did. I went to use the Wi-Fi at the coffee bean. I was so poor. <laughs> I didn't want to pay extra for Wi-Fi. So that's what how, I did. Okay, so how long did you do it at that coffee bean before for, you're like, I'm making some money? Almost two years. You made no money for two years. No, I I eventually started making money, and then it wasn't like an overnight thing. There got a point in my career where I said, "Okay, it's time to get a different apartment, and I need help." Yeah. Um. Actually, it was a health crisis. I was in Australia in 2007 at the MTV Awards there, and I had pneumonia. And I felt like I couldn't work, I couldn't do anything. So I said to myself, well, I need some help so that I don't do every single thing myself anymore. And that's when I decided to hire my family. <laughs> so my sister works with me, my mom works with me. And that was something that that's was a little bit nerve wracking at yeah. first because you know, my sister and I would always butt heads, but we still butt heads personally, but she's the best team member because she works almost as hard as I do. And I still work crazy hard. Uh -huh. You know, a, a normal employee will be like clock in and clock, clock out, out. Yep. but my sister cares. And so does my mom. So my mom is like my professional mom. I pay her to do mom like things. Like she'll run my errands, like go put gas in my car, pick up my mail from the PO box. If I need to buy a present for a kid's birthday party, she'll, she'll go out it. and do all those little things that take time. Yeah. And she does that for me. And I, and she lives with me and she, have to, she doesn't have to pay for anything. So, so let's, the blog, when did it blow up, blow up? What year was well, that? Where what's was wild is that, you know, the comedy world can take a long time, but social media and the internet, things can happen very quickly. Well, it exploded because you were at the forefront. Yeah. Like, I mean, you I, were the first one to do what you. Even really before there was a social media. Yeah. You know, I started in 2004 when there was no YouTube, there was no Twitter. No Instagram. There was no Instagram. There was no TikTok. Facebook actually began that same year. What was prevalent in 2004 was MySpace, which doesn't exist anymore, really. And I was never even on MySpace yeah. because I'm so old that I joined the precursor of MySpace. There was this social site called Friendster. Do you remember oh, yeah. Friendster? <laughs> that was hot for like a month. Yeah, but I was on that. So I'm like, why am I going to join MySpace? I'm already on Friendster. I don't get it. <laughs> and then I just discovered blogging and curiosity but, but led me to it. what was big at that time was gossip magazines, right? Like the magazines, the, yes. The people magazine. And but in 2004, because it was such a different time and there really wasn't social media and none of these magazines were using their websites to break celebrity news. It was all just a funnel back to the magazine. So it was go to people.com or go to usmagazine.com to sign up for the magazine, get a subscription. So, and then I come along and I, I don't want to give myself credit for anything, but I played a part in changing the game. You did change the game. You, you were a major contributor in changing the game, but did you know when you were doing it, wasn't it an accident that you're like, Oh, I'm gonna just do this Paul, a blog post about this celebrity and see what happened? Or was there like, oh, this is the plan I'm gonna do for There was a year. no plan. There was no, no plan, you just started doing it. It was just, you what know. What was your first story too? I think I remember it. It yeah. was, I was driving to my job at the time. What was your job? I was working at a gay men's magazine as the senior editor and I was listening to Howard Stern and he said something that pissed me off. So my very first thing, it was just super organic, like, Howard said the most ridiculous thing about gay people. Cause in 2004, he was still kind of homophobic. Yes. Or just. You could so, get away with a lot more. Yeah, back then. I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said something that as a gay man, it pissed me off. Mm -hmm. So it was very reactionary. And that was my first, and I, I wish I had it. Oh my goodness, you don't have that first story? No, because you know, <sighs> things evolved. Like it, it started off for the first eight months on Blogger or Blogspot, which I don't even know if that exists anymore. Uh, and then eventually I got my own website. And then over the years I switched servers and the first few years are gone. I mean, maybe on that website, um, web archive or something, it might still you know exist. You know what would be so dope? If you got that first thing you posted and made it a poster and then- I would love to see it. I would love dope. to read it.